Hello fellow Meadow Center nature nerds. It's your boy Colin Garut and yeah, yeah, it's Rodriguez. And we're here today taking a break from our normal day job of restoring the vegetation of the upper San Marcos River to bring you a little bit more info on an elusive creature here in the San Marcos River, the American eel. So just a little bit about ourselves. I have a bachelor's in biology and a master's in education and we are both grant specialists working on the EAHCP here in San Marcos, Texas. And I have a bachelor's in wildlife biology. These eels have a remarkable life history that matches their unique looks and their range extends from the coastlines of Greenland down the eastern seaboard towards Venezuela. While most of these fish spend the majority of their life in freshwater habitats such as the one found at Spring Lake, they are actually catadromous which means they must travel to the ocean in order to reproduce. The Sargasso Sea is the result of a gyre formed by four major Atlantic currents and is the only known location where these American eels spawn. These critters then metamorphose from a transparent worm-like larva into a more traditional eel shape, gaining size and color as they drift via oceanic currents into estuaries, coastal streams, and ultimately inland waterways. Adult females can reach lengths of up to five feet and serve as fearsome predators while their younger counterparts often become prey for the many animals that inhabit the riparian corridors and coastal waters, which provide a balance to the ecosystems in which they are found. Certain species of mussel are also known to parasitize the gills of the American eel as part of their reproductive cycle and dispersal mechanisms. Unfortunately, man-made impoundments, such as dams, serve as barriers that make upstream migration difficult to navigate or prevent it entirely. As a result, not much is known about the movement patterns of these adult fish in inland rivers, especially in the Gulf Coast drainages, which includes our local population in the upper San Marcos River. The goal of our collaboration with Dr. Perkins at Texas A&M University is to do just that. By setting passive eel traps, we can capture, tag, and subsequently track individuals throughout Spring Lake in an attempt to uncover more information about this elusive creature's behavior. We have one of our eel traps that are commonly used on the eastern seaboard where eels are much more abundant. The way it works are narrow funnels that allow eels to go into the trap where they have a difficult time returning out from that same hole. It's held together with two spring clips that simply un unattach each end where we can put live bait such as crawdads or other fish. Here we have information regarding the study itself, as well as a contact number in case someone else identifies that there is actually indeed an eel or some other critter um, inside this cage. Now I will show you how to deploy this eel trap into Spring Lake. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again.